Hi, this is Dave. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows Server 2008 R2. Uh, at this point we've booted the machine with the installation CD or ISO mounted and it's gone through the initial setup routine and you'll now see that you get to select your language. For this we're going to select English and then hit Next. Uh, at this point you just go ahead and click Install Now. After a few seconds, you'll see setup is starting. Okay, at this point, you have multiple options of the different versions standard enterprise data center or the web server. Uh, for this demo, we're going to do standard R2, the full installation, and not the server core. Go ahead and select that. Click Next. You're going to see the license terms. Uh, it's really long, really boring, and we'll just assume you accept it. Click Next to I accept the license terms. Click Next. So in this, we have the two choices. We can upgrade, is if you already had uh, maybe a Server 2008 or even uh, earlier version, you could do the upgrade, which would keep your file settings programs. Uh, not really recommended you do this. Uh, clean installs are always the best way to go on these. Uh, if you have to, you have to, but in my mind, it's always custom. So go down to custom. So now it'll show all the disk drives that it sees. Uh, I have one 60 gig drive, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. Uh, down here you see drive options. Uh, this gives you additional options if you needed them uh, to deal with the partition. You could uh, create a new partition, format the existing one, uh, delete a partition or extend one. It also gives you the option to load a driver, uh, which you would need to do if you had a non-supported um, driver, perhaps maybe something that was a motherboard that was released after Windows Server 2008 came out, in which case you could load the third-party driver. So it would see your disk drives and then you would click refresh. So go ahead and click Next. And now you're going to see that it's going to start copying the Windows files down. Uh, and then it'll expand it out. Uh, this will take a while. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video. And then we will start once it gets down. So you can see now it's uh, installed the files, it's going to restart itself and continue setup. Okay, the first thing you're going to see once it restarts itself after the setup process is that it's going to tell you that the user's password must be changed before logging out for the first time. Go ahead and click OK. Now, even though this is the first time you're logging on as the administrator, the password rules apply. So if you do not uh, put in a long enough password, it will give you a message that is similar to this, unable to update the password. Uh, go ahead and click OK and use a more secure password, generally a combination of letters and numbers over seven characters. Once you do find one that fits the criteria, it'll say changing password, password's been changed, click OK. And now it'll give you the welcome screen and prepare your desktop. Okay, so once you hit the desktop, you're going to find uh, a couple things happen. It starts connecting the network, and it's also going to pop the initial configuration task, which basically gives you some things you should do right away.
I'll be covering those more in depth in a later video. Right now we'll end this video. Thanks for watching. If you have comments, please visit windowserverturning.com or you can email me at dave at davelawler.com. Thanks.